Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing the basic concepts of Oracle eBusiness Suite VM appliance and then we'll create the virtual machine for the eBusiness Suite appliance. First we'll be seeing the introduction to the VM appliance, what is the purpose of the VM appliance and what do you get basically with this Oracle eBusiness Suite VM appliance. Then we'll download the software and we'll extract the required files and we'll be running something called assemble.sh. This assemble.sh will give you OVA file. This OVA file is nothing but open virtual appliance. And to run or to import this open virtual appliance will be requiring software such as VMware or VirtualBox. And once you import this appliance, you'll be basically creating a VM that is a virtual machine. So what exactly is Oracle Business Suite VM appliance? The main purpose of the Oracle Business Suite VM appliance is to provide you a pre-built instance of Oracle Business Suite and you can download this VM appliance for free from edelivery.oracle.com and this basically provides you OVA file which you have to import into VirtualBox and by importing into VirtualBox you will be able to create a virtual machine. Remember that this specific virtual machine has an eBusiness Suite instance which can be immediately started and it can be immediately used as well. Remember that this specific vision instance, this specific eBusiness Suite instance is only vision instance. It is not a fresh database. What it means is that this specific vision instance is a demo data base. So which means it contains all the demo data as demo users, demo responsibilities, etc and also a lot of transactional data which is for demo purposes. This specific instance cannot be used for real-time implementation of a new Oracle Business Suite and you cannot use it for customers to implement new eBusiness Suite or for a new project. This is mainly for only training purposes and demo purposes. This specific virtual machine comes with scripts to start and stop services automatically. So what are the requirements for you to run this specific VM appliance or to run this specific virtual machine? You will be requiring at least 12 to 16 GB memory because the virtual machine itself will require 12 to 16 GB. So your desktop or laptop, whatever you are using should have at least 24 GB and that is recommended. And you will require, you'll be requiring 350 GB dedicated space for the virtual machine. So unless you have minimum of 500 GB, you will not be able to effort to allocate all the 50 GB to this specific virtual machine. Oracle Business Suite 12.2 is resource consuming, so you will be requiring at least two cores to be dedicated to this virtual machine. I strongly recommend you to use at least a quad core system or octa core system to run this specific VM. Ideally, quad core system should be sufficient. Now let us see how to download the software. So the activity guide you're going to use for this specific lesson is this one. What you have to do is to basically create a free Oracle account in edelivery.oracle.com or even oracle.com. If you already have one, simply log in to edelivery.oracle.com. So once you log in, you have to search with 12 to 10 VM. And once you search it, you'll be able to see all the files you have to download. So this is the search I have done here in the delivery website and click on this specific search that is release Oracle VM virtual appliance for eBusiness Suite 12 to 10. Go to continue and continue. Accept the terms and conditions and continue. Now simply select download and you should be able to download all the required files. The next thing what you have to do is to extract the first file which you can see here and that contains basically something called assemble scripts. So these are the list of files which I have downloaded. So what I will do now is first I will extract the first file and you can see there is something called assemble underscore 12 to 10. Extract that as well. Now you will get an assemble folder. In the assemble folder you can see lot of scripts. Just copy all the files and paste them in the same directory as you have kept all the zip files which you downloaded. 
so now use something called putty something like putty or ideally i think mobix term for example putty is not ideal in this case you can use mobix term so using mobix term we are going to connect to the terminal of windows and we are going to simply run the assemble.sh script if you have a linux host you can also directly run the assemble.sh so i have now opened mobix term and what i'll do now i'll go to drives d soft and 12.2.10 vm this is where i have all my files now as you can see here there is assemble.sh script so simply run the assemble.sh now press any key simply press enter so now what this will do is it will basically concatenate extract all the zip files and concatenate to create a single over file which is open virtual appliance and this open virtual appliance will be importing into virtual box to create the virtual machine this whole process will take few hours of time so as you can see here the command is now complete now if you check the files you, can, you should be able to see now the over file that is the oracle sorry open virtual appliance now this is the over file which we have to now import into the virtual box so what i'll do now i'll open my virtual box i'll click on file and import appliance so locate the ova file so i'll go to my 12 to 10 vm and here you can see the ova file you can click on open next you choose all the default options because they can be modified later for example network related stuff you can modify later so just click on import so as you can see now that the vm appliance has been successfully imported the only change what i'll be doing right now is the network adapter i'll change it from nat to bridge adapter done and also display if it is showing as vbox vga you can change it to vm vsga and optionally based on the number of number of processors you have you can change it to let's say for example 2 or 4 so i've changed it to 4 and click on okay so in this lesson what we have done we have first downloaded the software and we extracted all the zip files or the most important file the first file we have extracted it where we'll be seeing the script assemble.sh once we run the assemble.sh it will be creating a ova file ova file that ova file i have imported it as an appliance into the virtual box and finally in the virtual box i have changed the adapter from nat adapter to bridge adapter in the next lesson we'll be configuring the virtual machine and we'll be starting the services of the e business suite